Welcome to Mystic Realms Recap. Links are in the description below. Please show some love of the author and me. On to the show, He Liang felt that he was really lucky today. He even encountered two opponents who were weaker than himself. The last one is fine. It took him at least dozens of rounds in the forest before he was defeated. This is good, as soon as you come up, you can directly summon a healing unit? Wasn't it obvious to send it? It made him almost couldn't help laughing, and felt somewhat disdain in his heart. However, out of caution, he still did not reveal his whereabouts. I couldn't hold it back just now, the other party already knew the approximate location, and I had to quickly change my hiding place. After thinking about it, He Liang took his ranger hunter to retreat quietly, approaching Lin Yu from the side, looking for a chance to get off. His unit is the humanoid elf ranger, best at hiding and fighting in the forest. It's hard for the average person to catch its trail, let alone beat it. This is also the source of He Liang's self-confidence. Because his arms have been transformed into hero units, he has awakened his exclusive stealth talent. Elsewhere he dared not say. But in the forest area, He Liang will definitely have a place. With this confidence, he quickly came to a big tree less than 50 meters away from Lin Yu. With a gesture, the elf ranger beside him tightened the bow and arrow in his hand and aimed at Lin Yu's back. Whoosh! Another arrow pierced the air and shot out, and the momentum was several times more powerful than the one just now, and even a phantom appeared. It is the elven ranger's specialty skill, the phantom arrow. While enhancing the power of the bow and arrow, it can also make the arrow produce phantoms, making it difficult to distinguish the real from the real, and the speed is extremely fast. In a flash, the arrow cut through the sky and came behind Lin Yu. Unexpectedly, at this time, Lingxi beside Lin Yu suddenly turned around, the thorns wrapped around the arrow directly, blocking the attack of the arrow. He Liang was startled, he didn't expect Lin Yu's troops to respond so quickly. If he missed a hit, he immediately jumped to other trees with the elf ranger, trying to escape and look for another chance. Available in the next second. On the big tree he was standing on, several thorns suddenly exploded. What? He Liang turned pale with fright and immediately jumped to another tree, fled away without hesitation and fled into the depths of the forest. His face was no longer as relaxed as it was just now, but instead there was a hint of shock. The other party's flower essence seemed to be different from what he thought. There is such a long-range attack method. If he hadn't reacted in time just now, I'm afraid he would have been pierced by those wooden thorns long ago, and he would be disabled even if he didn't die. Hide. Without hesitation, the elf ranger next to him fluctuated and the figures of the two gradually merged with the surrounding environment and disappeared in a blink of an eye. What's the matter? How did He Liang's special talent for the arms be forced out so quickly? On the edge of the arena, above the stand of the three-dimensional realm, several lords looked puzzled and watched the battle between Lin Yu and He Liang in the distance. Although he couldn't see the blow just now, he could see that He Liang's complexion changed drastically and he exited violently. Even the exclusive abilities of the heroes in arms were forced out and hidden in the forest, making them puzzled. The forest environment is He Liang's best fighting field. If it is one-on-one, -on -one, even we can't do anything with him. Could it be that we have run into a strong enemy? It seems to be a plant lord with flower elite troops. Flower essence? Isn't that a healing unit that only summons tree demons? This is also what makes me strange. It stands to reason that He Liang should not be forced to such a point by an auxiliary unit. Look. They fight again. Suddenly, an exclamation interrupted their conversation. In the middle of the field, He Liang appeared at the edge of the forest, covered in blood, and fled outside with a face full of fear. There was a loud rumbling behind him, and two huge tree demons crashed into the trees, chasing after them. Above the sky, there are even more leaves flying all over the sky, turning into strenuous streamers and shooting straight at him. I, I admit defeat. He Liang turned back and shouted in horror, the pride he had just lost on his face, because he found out he was wrong. And it's terribly wrong. 
This is not an ordinary flower essence at all. But a monster. A total monster. Even if the attributes of the summon tree demon are higher than that of ordinary tree demons, it will still attack in a wide range. In just one face-to-face -face effort, his hidden state was directly broken by brute force, and he was almost shot to death by the sudden appearance of a wooden thorn. Seeing the black and terrifying leaf rushing towards him, he suddenly screamed and conceded defeat. Swish. He Leong disappeared into the arena, and the Skyfield attack came to nothing. All this is changing too fast. So that those lords didn't react immediately, and they all stood there stunned. Lost. He Leong actually lost in the venue he was proud of? Didn't even defend the venue and was forced to flee to the edge of the forest? Gollum. Everyone in the three-dimensional realm couldn't help swallowing, looking at the indifferent figure that appeared on the edge of the forest, and the little flower essence beside it. Subsequently, the figure gradually disappeared into the forest and disappeared again, only the horrified lords remained. So strong. To be able to push the elf ranger, known as the darling of the forest, to such a level. Is this his strength? What happened to the flower essence? Why does it have such a powerful attack method? Is it a rare weapon? Rare units can't be so perverted, right? In the stands of Primitive Realm, the lords talked a lot, and they were all shocked by the strength that Lin Yu just showed. I finally understood why he was so taken seriously by Yan Lai. A tight face to face will severely damage a Seventh Order lord who is not weak. With this strength alone, I am afraid that few lords can match it. And even more terrifying. Gu Xiao. That flower elite unit can freely control the vegetation in the forest. In an instant, it turned the entire forest area into its battle home. How could it be so powerful? Even the lords of other realms were attracted. I'll go meet him. Finally, a tall man walked out of the group in the stands of the Honghuang realm, staring at the area where Lin Yu was. Manchon, wait a second, your troops are not suitable for fighting in a forest like that. Immediately came the dissuasion of other companions. Not suitable? If it is not suitable, I will make it suitable until it is suitable. Manchon said nonchalantly, ignoring the obstruction of his companions, and walked directly into the teleportation array. Light flashed. He had already arrived at the forest area where Lin Yu was. At the same time, the raging flames exploded, and a unicorn surrounded by flames stepped forward and appeared beside him, causing the temperature in the entire area to suddenly rise. Fire troops? Lin Yu, who was hiding in the forest, narrowed his eyes. Among all the arms, the most unwilling to encounter is the flame-type arms. In the early stage, it was fine at the low level, at least the restraint was not so obvious. But in the later stage, the more flame-type monsters have more skills and methods, the more unfavorable it is for his plant type. After all, Lingxi at this time is not blessed by symbiotic moss. The strength is much weaker than in its heyday. Go, burn this forest for me. He didn't give Lin Yu a chance to think about it at all. As soon as he appeared, Man Shan directly gave orders to the fire unicorn beside him. In an instant, raging flames ignited on the fire unicorn, and huge fireballs fell from the sky, almost turning the sky in the entire area into red. It's the fire unicorn's skill, meteor fire shower. Could it be that Barbarian Mountain is planning to burn the entire forest? The lords in the prehistoric world exclaimed constantly, excited. Lin Yu in the forest looked solemn, and took Ling Si directly out of the fire rain coverage. Boom! With a loud noise, the fire rain fell to the ground and exploded suddenly in the forest. Wherever he went, there was a sea of fire, igniting all the trees. Sure enough, it is the fire of the unicorns that Longyan keeps pace with. Haha, <laughs> it's useless for you to escape, I'm going to burn this forest down, and come out and fight me if you have one. Man Shan laughed loudly, with a strong fighting intent in his eyes. Is this guy a fighter? Lin Yu, who was fleeing, was speechless in his heart, but he also knew that hiding like this was not the way to go. Immediately, it turned a corner and appeared on a large open space that had been burned and bald. 
whoa. A large number of leaves rose, forming a huge net in the air, and shot towards the barbarian mountain. The speed is fast, and it will come in a blink of an eye. Good come. Manchon didn't talk nonsense, the fire unicorn next to him stepped forward, and a wall of fire rose into the sky, instantly burning the big net to fly ashes. But even so, some of the attacks passed through the wall of fire, dragging long flames towards him. Okay? Manchon was secretly startled. His unicorn fire was actually unable to completely block a plant-based attack. How dare you think too much, immediately clench the gloves in your hands, and cross your hands in front of you. Chong. The Manchon was directly shaken back several steps, and the tiger's mouth burst. It made him even more shocked. So much power weakened by the wall of fire, yet still doing so much damage. The attack of this flower essence has definitely exceeded the Eighth Order level. You know, this is fighting alone. No halo bonuses, no territory bonuses, and no other unit bonuses. Just like this, you can be so strong, how strong should you be in a state of victory? Haha, <laughs> good. I haven't been so happy for a long time, come again. Facing the powerful enemy, Manshan not only did not back down, on the contrary, he was full of fighting spirit and looked at Lin Yu with fiery eyes. Lin Yu was also dignified. After all, his Lingxi has been boosted by Godhead fragments, exclusive talents, and his own halo skills. Even the arms of other lords have similar bonuses. Then he also needs to add 20% of the attribute bonus of Godhead fragments. Even so, there is no way to break through the opponent's defense, but you can imagine how powerful this guy is. I am afraid that it is not inferior to the strictness. But that being the case, he had nothing to back down. Lingxi, that unicorn will be handed over to you, I'll go meet him for a while. After saying that, he took out the worm-toothed sword and rushed towards the barbarian mountain. Good come. Manshan shouted excitedly, also jumped high, and punched Lin Yu with a punch. The incomparably fast punching style was approaching Lin Yu's face, accompanied by a strong sense of oppression. Lin Yu didn't dare to be careless, the blade crossed a half circle arc and met the fist wind. Boom! The violent collision turned into a wave of air that swept around. Lin Yu was knocked back a few steps, Man Shan rolled over and crouched on the ground, sliding out half a meter. In the pure power competition, Lin Yu still has a big gap with this kind of power type lord. But. Come again. Lin Yu suddenly shouted, his eyes burst with fighting intent, and his arms trembled uncontrollably. Not out of fear, but out of excitement. After hiding behind the arms and commanding for so long, I didn't expect that fighting against a powerful enemy would be such a joyous thing. Gradually, he felt that the blood that had been suppressed in his body was aroused and became more and more restless. In the end, a powerful breath suddenly erupted. The Power of Rules Four-leaf clovers for a tribute blessing, activate. One of the features of the Godhead fragment is that it allows the Lord to use most of the arm skills allowed by the rules. Lin, you can't use the offensive skills that are too obvious in shape, but he can still use the strengthening skills. And four were used at once. It is the four attribute protection of the four-leaf clover unit. Suddenly, his aura rose rapidly, reaching the point where he was approaching the eighth rank. Drink. With a loud shout, the whole person shot out, like a sharp arrow. From top to bottom, the big sword in his hand slashed straight at the top of the barbarian mountain. Seeing Lin Yu's grandeur, Man Shan was amazed in his heart and did not dare to take it hard. Turned over and slid sideways, to avoid the sword light. At the same time, he squatted and slammed into Lin Yu's ribs with a punch. Bang! His fist trembled slightly, but was blocked by Lin Yu's elbow, and the two of them retreated again. But immediately, the soles of his feet exploded again, colliding violently. The broadsword and the glove are constantly intertwined. In just half a minute, they had already fought dozens of times, and there were bursts of fierce collisions. The more Manshan fought, the more frightened he became. Because he found that Lin Yu seemed to have suddenly changed his personality. Although his moves were still clumsy, 
his strength and momentum were three points stronger than before, and he was pressing him faintly. Bang! Barbarian Mountain struck again with a punch. After a muffled sound, the big sword in Lin Yu's hand was shaken back by him. And he himself stepped back three or four meters, and his feet were deeply immersed in the blackened mud. Far away. Under the suppression of attributes, Lingxi was not afraid at all, and the tree thorns and leaves danced in the sky, almost pressing the fire unicorn to fight. However, the fire unicorn is surrounded by unicorn fire, and it is difficult to break through for a while, so it has to constantly shift the battlefield, and almost the entire forest in the area has been turned into a sea of fire. The huge scene, and the fierce collision. He immediately attracted the lords from the nearby stands. Damn it! What happened over there? Why did the forest even burn? Look inside. There are two people fighting. It seems to be a wild mountain in the prehistoric world. Barbarian mountain? Who is so fierce to be able to fight him to such an extent? Could it be the top lords in other realms? The exclamations kept echoing in the stands of the entire human race. Even Yen Lai, who was healing, was attracted by the word barbaric mountain they mentioned, and looked inside the arena. Because in the last battle of Ten Thousand Realms, he had met a lord called Barbarian Mountain. He was so powerful that he was not inferior to him at all. Just when he saw the situation on the field, he was stunned, and even fell into a deep stun. That Lin Yu, to be able to fight the Barbarian Mountains, to such an extent. You must know that he had played against Man Shan before. Although it's just a stop, no one can do anything about it. But now, under the attack of Lin Yu's broadsword, Man Shan gradually showed signs of decline. Even his fire unicorn unit was completely suppressed, and there were many injuries on his body. Haha, <laughs> cool. Inside the arena, Man Shan laughed heartily, punching Lin Yu's sword with each punch. Lin Yu didn't show any timidity, because Lin Yu was stronger than himself, and Lin Yu also let go of it completely, and the swordsmanship was fast and unrestrained, from the lack of rules at the beginning, to the precise collision now. Every blow can explode a large spark, with Barbarian's iron fist. Knives, lights, fists, and shadows flickered on the entire arena, and the momentum exploded. Bang! 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 After several rounds of confrontation, Man Shan was finally stabbed out by Lin Yu because he was physically weak. Then the two of them seemed to have a tacit understanding, they stopped at the same time, and stood at opposite ends of the open space to confront each other. I lost. Man Shan grinned and generously admitted his defeat. Assignment. Lin Yu whispered softly and at the same time heaved a sigh of relief. To be frank, this battle was not easy for him. After all, he has been urging the power of rules to use four skills, which is not a small burden for him. But he didn't regret it. Because of this battle, he has a more comprehensive understanding of himself, and his shinching has also undergone a lot of changes. This is definitely a huge change for him who has been suppressing himself before. You're fine. Tell me your name. Man Shan stared at Lin Yu tightly as if he wanted to remember his appearance. Primordial world, Lin Yu. Okay, I remember you Manchon. Manchon laughed loudly, if there is a chance in the future, I will come back to judge you, just let the horses come over. Lin Yu licked his chapped lips, but next time we meet, it's not as simple as losing the battle. Haha, <laughs> kind of. See you next time. After he finished speaking, he didn't hesitate, he simply chose to admit defeat and teleported away from the arena with the fire unicorn full of wounds on his body. In a blink of an eye. In the bare field, only Lin Yu was left standing alone, and Ling Si was sitting on his shoulders. The surrounding lords who had been paying attention to the battle situation on this site were all stunned and fell into deep consternation. An extremely domineering barbarian mountain. You actually lost? And defeated, so simply? If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes, they would have thought that they had seen it wrong. Even the lords of the primitive realm had very rich expressions, and for a while he didn't know how to express the shock in his heart. Not to mention the primordial demon realm and the unreal realm. 
each one is as uncomfortable as eating shit. Because a few people on their side have just been defeated. However, the primordial realm succeeded one after another, and even Situ Jian won the battle with Ao Wenyu. In this comparison, they seem to be a foil. How could it be? How could he be so strong? In the Infinite Realm team. Lin Yan was inexplicably horrified, and looked straight at Lin Yu, who was standing in the field. When Manchon was playing, he thought he could finally see Lin Yu being defeated or even killed. But I didn't expect it would turn out like this. When he thought that he was actually fighting against such a terrifying existence before, he couldn't help but feel scared. Obviously. When Lin Yu fought against him before, he didn't use all his strength, so he was lucky enough to save his life, and a few of them even tried to besiege each other, in vain. Now that I think about it, it's just a joke. How can a lord of this level be killed if he wants to? It seems that we still underestimated the strength of that guy. Su Yu Jiao changed from her past coquettishness, and her delicate makeup was almost squeezed into one piece. She and Man Shan are also considered old friendships. In terms of arms, she is completely true. But as far as the Lord's own strength is concerned, then she is far behind. Even such a powerful barbarian mountain was defeated. It is enough to see the horror of this primitive world lord, at least he should be treated on the same level as a lord of Yen Lai Situ Jian. Boom! At this moment, there was a loud noise. The area where Lin Yu was located started to vibrate violently. Immediately afterwards, trees and grasses rose from the ground, and with violent noises, they returned to their original forest appearance. Is there such a function? Lin Yu looked surprised. He thought he would lose his environmental advantage after the forest was destroyed. As a result, this venue even has a self-recovery function. It seems that if the site is damaged too much, it will automatically recover. It made him feel a little overjoyed. Immediately. He took Lingxi to hide in the forest again, and took the opportunity to recover. At this time, the advantage of his summoning Lingxi is manifested, and he can quickly heal the injury. Moreover, Lingxi itself has the aura of speeding up the recovery of the power of nature, which is very beneficial to the long-term will battle. But the Lord, who had been following his movements outside the arena, didn't think so. Seeing him hurrying to hide in the forest, many leaders immediately moved. After all, they all saw the intensity of the battle just now, and there is absolutely no way that a lord can still maintain a prosperous state. I think he must be pushing hard, and this is when he is at his weakest. It shouldn't be wrong. You must have a guilty conscience when you saw that he was in such a hurry to hide in the forest just now. Good opportunity. Come and collect the points in person, let me do it. After a while. There was a thief-eyed undead lord who rushed into the teleportation formation and teleported directly to the area where Lin Yu was. As if he had determined that Lin Yu was at the end of the shot, he summoned a skeleton general and went straight to the forest, disappearing in a blink of an eye. What? Unexpectedly, after a while, the screams of the undead lord came from the forest. The lord who was watching was shocked in his heart, and a trace of horror flashed in his eyes. That undead lord was killed so quickly. How can that be? For a while. The lords looked at each other in dismay, but no one dared to step into the area where Lin Yu was, which made the atmosphere of the entire forest become strange. Pretend to be a ghost, I'll meet him. After a while, the lord finally reacted and quickly teleported to the arena, and this time, the lord summoned a flying unit, a purple poisonous dragon with a length of more than twenty meters. As soon as he entered the arena, he immediately flew high into the sky and sprayed a large amount of poisonous mist into the forest. Haha, I see where you're going. The beast leader laughed wildly. He seemed to know that Lin Yu's units would attack from a distance. After releasing the poisonous mist, he immediately flew high into the sky and opened up the distance. The lords kept shouting, but I didn't expect that there was such a trick. Haha. <laughs> That guy is probably going to be poisoned to death in the forest. Let him like to hide, now he will suffer instead? Although the means are a bit despicable, winning is king. 
Indeed, there's nothing in this secret realm that says you can't use underhand tricks. What's the situation? Something seems wrong. What is that? Something is floating. Suddenly, the mockery of the lords turned into exclamations. I saw that in the forest, shrouded in poison gas, clusters of red dandelions suddenly floated up. And more and more, more and more, densely. In the end, it almost filled the entire sky. What the is this? Ahem, damn, fly higher. The laughing beast lord accidentally inhaled a mouthful of dandelion, coughing violently and cursing. However, he was also vigilant and ordered the poisonous dragon to fly to a higher place, and in a blink of an eye, the forest below was pulled far away. Oh, if I knew this earlier, I should have gone up to collect the head first. Indeed, he is so strong, and he must have a lot of resources. It's cheap for that guy. In the stands, the lord who was paying attention to the battle in the forest area continued to lament. I regret that I didn't rush to the field earlier, and was picked up by the beast lord. No, it stands to reason that even if he is poisoned, he should be able to admit defeat. Why hasn't he admitted defeat for so long? Someone in the crowd whispered. As soon as these words came out, the other lords also reacted, showing slight doubts. That seems to be the case. Is the poison of the poisonous dragon really so powerful? Impossible. I have seen that guy's poisonous dragon, and it takes at least half a minute for the poison to develop without treatment. Half a minute is enough to surrender. No matter how stupid a person who is in the range of poison gas is, it is impossible to bite the bullet and not admit defeat when their life is threatened. But it's been more than two minutes now. Is it relying on healing skills to support it? Look above, that guy's situation seems a little wrong. Suddenly, an exclamation sounded in the crowd, interrupting their discussion. Everyone turned their eyes to the sky, and suddenly found something wrong. I saw that the beast lord didn't know why, but his hands were tightly covering his chest, heaving violently, his eyes widened like copper bells. Gradually, his chest began to slowly expand and wriggle, as if something was about to burst out of it. Boom! A mass of blood mist suddenly exploded on his chest, like a goddess scattered flowers, and large swathes of bright red dandelions fell down. I do. The lords in the stands were taken aback. One by one, they all stepped back in shock, subconsciously covering their chests. It was as if it was their bodies that were blasted open. This, what the is this? A lord said in a trembling voice. At that moment, he almost didn't urinate directly. It is also thanks to his body that he has been strengthened, and his control in that area has improved. Otherwise, you have to make a fool of yourself in front of all the lords. But even so, his feet were still a little unsteady, and his face was pale. No way, this kind of death that exploded in his chest was so terrifying, it made his whole heart feel unbearable. The other lords were no better. They all stared at the corpse that fell from the sky with a horrified expression. Boom! The corpse fell to the ground. Their hearts also shook violently. When looking at the edge of the forest again, a figure surrounded by green light gradually appeared, looking at the corpse in front of him like no one else. But even with such a gentle image, in the eyes of the lords, it is more terrifying than the devil. Needless to say, those red dandelions just now were condensed by Linyu with the power of plant rules. Troops such as Blood Goo Dandelion have a very low probability of mutation. Even now, Linyu has only mutated two strains, which is enough to see the rarity of this unit. It is no wonder that many lords have not seen it. At most, it is known that it is an attack method of the plant system. Lin, you did not expect that the power of Dandelion with the 20% power bonus of Divine Fragment would be so strong that it directly broke the opponent's defense. Otherwise, he was still very difficult to deal with the poisonous gas just now, and he could only rely on the power of rules and the treatment of Lingxi to resist. You can also carry some magic resistance equipment on your body. It seems that we can only get here first. Seeing that the entire area was enveloped by poisonous gas, Lin Yu knew that he could not stay any longer. 
It also happened to take this opportunity to restore myself and Ling Si. Anyway, there is still one chance, and then it is time to play again. After thinking about it, he directly chose to teleport away from the venue and disappeared from the sight of everyone, which also made those lords who had been paying attention to his movements heave a sigh of relief. Why didn't you go up just now? The highest point on the edge of the arena, above the stand of the Eternal Realm. An indifferent young man in a brocade robe asked, in a low voice, to his companion. Go up? Why should I go up? Wouldn't it be better to watch monkeys play here? The companion looked disdainful and seemed to have no interest in the end. The Eternal Realm is one of the largest realms among the ten thousand realms, and its resources must not be comparable to those of these small realms. The mere large-scale secret realm has not yet reached the point where they can make a move. The Jean Pao youth didn't say much. With a hint of a smile, he looked again at the place where Lin Yu had just stood in the arena, his eyes solemn. Perhaps, we will have a chance to meet next time on the battlefield of Wanjia. With a murmur, he retracted his gaze and looked at other ongoing events. The other side. Lin Yu, who was teleported back to the stand, was immediately surrounded by Yan Lai and Situ Jian. Okay, Lin Yu, even the Manchon Mountain was brought down by you. Yen Lai said with a smile on his face. I didn't see it in the battle just now, but I also heard them say, I didn't expect that even Manchon is not your opponent. Situ Jian looked at Lin Yu in amazement. Although he received seven heads this time, more than Lin Yu. But compared to Lin Yu's record, it pales in comparison. After all, Manchon is a lord of the same level as them, and even if he does his best, he may not be able to get benefits. In the end, he lost to Lin Yu in a head-to-head -head battle. You can imagine how shocked he is now. This Lin Yu is not only strong in units, but also extremely strong in himself. Such a lord, how many lords of the same rank, can kill him? By the way, what happened to those dandelions that you finally got out? Are the skills of your troops? At this time, Yen Lai suddenly asked. Although defeating Barbarian Mountain gave him a stronger shock, the last dandelion still made him very curious. The other lords on the side also shrank their necks when they heard his question and did not dare to approach. No way, that scene just now was too terrifying. No one wants something to pop out of their body suddenly, and then watch it explode. It's better to just kill them. However, Yen Lai is such a straightforward person that he will directly ask other people's arm skills. If it was someone else, it is estimated that he would have kept it a secret for a long time, and would not dare to inquire easily. Lin Yu didn't mind, smiled and said, forget it, my arm is a bit different from other arms. He didn't say it explicitly, only gave an ambiguous answer. Although Yen Lai was straight, he wasn't stupid, so he didn't ask any more questions. Then a few people took other lords to exchange their battle situation in the stands and analyzed the situation. Almost an hour has passed since the opening of the secret realm. All the lords of the basic primitive world have already played once. Some of the strong ones have used up two chances to play, a few others were killed before they had time to admit defeat. I just took a look. Except for the few people in some realms, there are basically fifty lords in each realm. Our current points are 51 points, and the average is almost everyone wins one game, which is still a little less. Situ Jian's expression was solemn, and he glanced around. I saw that different numbers were marked above the stands of each boundary. There are one-digit and two-digit ones. Several of them even reached the level of 70 or 80 points. If it goes on like this, their primitive realm is estimated to miss the top 10 and miss out on the rewards of the secret realm. Then what should we do? Those who can still stay on the field are not weak in basic strength. It's okay to kill one or two, but we can't bear more. On the side, a lord couldn't help asking. There's so much bullshit, there aren't enough heads, I'll go and hack a dozen more to death later. Yen Lai said in a stern voice. You're too embarrassed to say that you've only contributed a head until now. Situ Jian glanced at him contemptuously. Yen Lai's breath stagnated, and his face instantly flushed, can I count it? It's not that you want to save face to prove yourself, 
or I will kill them long ago. Okay, okay, I have my faults too. Situ Jian smiled awkwardly. He was really reckless just now. It doesn't matter what I say. Lin Yu shrugged, after all, so many realms are fighting together, it's not easy to get into the top ten, just do your best. For Lin Yu, this trip to the secret realm was still very rewarding. By comparison, those treasures and so on, it seems a little less important. He just wanted to hone himself through battle, and by the way, to improve his control over the power of rules, which would also help him in the future. Lords, please note that there are still two hours before the end of the temple sacrifice. The rewards for each ranking segment will be announced now. Suddenly, a prompt sounded throughout the secret realm. The lords from all walks of life who were still watching the battle, was immediately attracted by a huge light curtain that appeared above the arena. For the top ten, each person can get an SSS-level secret treasure, and the seventh-level territory essence X-10. For the top twenty, each can get an SS-level secret treasure, and the seventh-level territory essence X-9. And so on. Snapped. Lin Yu only felt a burning pain in his cheeks. I just said that I don't care about rewards, but a list of rewards suddenly appeared. Top 10. You can actually get SSS level secret treasures and 10 territorial essences. And everyone in the realm will get it. In an instant. The atmosphere in the entire stand became hot, even if you can't make it into the top 10, and you can get into the top 30, you can still get S rank secret treasures and essences, which are definitely worth fighting for. What's more, this is a battle that can be conceded. It seems that it is impossible not to fight. Situ Jian murmured in a low voice. Even he can't resist the temptation of SSS level treasures. And 10 territorial essences represent the ability to upgrade one more tier 8 unit. Although it is nothing to him in the fast 8th order territory, it is also a very rich resource. Done, I'll go get a few more heads right away. Yen Lai stood up abruptly and walked towards the teleportation formation. I am coming too. Count me in. Come on. Win a few more games. The lord shouted loudly and rushed into the arena. The same is true for other lords from all walks of life, all of them have become hot eyes. Lin Yu didn't say much, but his expression was extremely serious. After returning to its heyday in the stands, he also got up and found an opportunity to teleport to another forest field. Reaching out a hand, a huge black shadow crashed down. Look! What is that? In the stands, the eyes of the lords were immediately attracted by the behemoth that appeared in the field. I saw that in a forest field in the corner of the land area, a large number of vines suddenly emerged, covering almost half of the area in a blink of an eye, and even spreading out of the forest. The spectacular scene immediately attracted the attention of the lords. What's going on? Did the venue change? No, that's not right. It seems that someone summoned a unit. What kind of arm is so perverted that it is half the size of the field? I'm afraid I didn't directly summon the lord monster. The lords exclaimed constantly, but because of the forest, they couldn't see the situation in the forest, clearly. I could only vaguely see a huge figure twisting back and forth in the forest, with a huge flower looming on the top, looking extremely terrifying. Not to mention that the elemental lord who was already in the forest grounds was so frightened that he retreated to the edge of the forest, and he was in shock. Careful! Suddenly, there was an exclamation from the stands. Before the element lord could react, a few bursts of air suddenly sounded. Several giant vines rushed out of the ground and attacked him with lightning speed. What? The element lord's complexion changed greatly. I didn't expect that this opponent's attack would come so fast, and I didn't have time to think about it, the vines had already come to me. Ring of fire. While shouting, he stormed out. At the same time, the flame element around him suddenly erupted, swinging a circle of flames around, shaking all the vines flying and he also successfully escaped from the vines. It was possible to make such an accurate judgment in such a short period of time. As expected of a lord who can defeat his opponent and stay on the field. 
Lin, you stood on the edge of the vine forest of green ivy, looking at the flame element, beside him in surprise. Although Qingting does not have aura and exclusive skill blessings, to enhance attributes, like Ling Si. But its basic attributes, except for agility, are basically close to 2,500 points. Coupled with the blessing of 20% of the Godhead fragments, it is definitely a bit more terrifying than the leader monster. To be able to resolve its attack, the strength of this elemental lord is obviously not weak. Continue. Looking away, Lin Yu said lightly. Immediately afterwards, countless vines emerged crazily from the forest and surrounded the element lords in the distance. The huge number even blocked all his escape routes. How can it be? The element lord was shocked and looked at the giant vines that appeared from all directions. Doesn't it mean that only one unit can be summoned in the field? How come there are so many vines? This quantity. I am afraid that dozens of arms are not an exaggeration. Do not. Even more exaggerated than dozens of arms. How dare you think too much, immediately issue an order to the flame elements around you, and a large sea of fire is ignited on the surrounding ground. The hot flames burned the surrounding vines into coke and fell to the ground. But not waiting for the element lord to be happy. The burned vines healed quickly, grew again, and then continued to rush through the flames towards him. It is Qingting's hero-exclusive talent. Recovery speed increased by 50%. In addition, there were already many corpses of lords and troops on the field, which greatly improved Qingting's ability to survive and recover. Where has the element lord seen such a battle? Seeing that this terrifying plant was not even afraid of flames, he was shocked and shouted directly. I surrender. When the sound fell, the whole person and the troops also disappeared, leaving the field instantly empty. This. In the stands, the lords looked at each other in dismay, and their minds did not turn around for a while. Under their gaze, those vines gradually retreated into the forest, as if they had never appeared before. How many other means does he have that we don't know? In the original team. Situ Jian whispered softly, shocked inside. That exaggeratedly large vine plant, he had seen Lin Yu summon before. But at the time, he was concentrating on fighting with people from the undead realm, so he didn't pay much attention. Now that he saw it again, he felt the horror of that plant even more, and it even made him feel a sense of palpitations. What do you think? On the stand of the eternal world, the two young people who had been paying attention to Lin Yu before had deep eyes and fixed their eyes on the area where Lin Yu was. Very strong. The Jing Pao youth said in a low voice. I thought that Hua Jing was already his strongest combat power. I didn't expect that he would have a second one with such a combat power, and it was a monster-level unit. It seems that there is also a remarkable character in other realms. There was a trace of solemnity in his words. Obviously, he was also surprised by the two royal troops that Lin Yu summoned one after another. Similar conversations also appeared in the stands of various realms at this time. Especially those lords who have just seen Lin Yu shot, they are even more afraid to waste an opportunity to challenge Lin Yu, and choose to wait and see for the time being. But even so, among so many lords of Wanjia, there are still many arrogant people who do not believe in this evil. A bunch of cowards, see how I shred that human race. Immediately, in the orc realm opposite, a sturdy Tauran walked out of the team and teleported directly to the field where Lin Yu was. Human, let your grandfather come to meet you. The Tauran shouted and directly summoned his troops. A set of peculiarly shaped titanium alloy mechanical armor was split into pieces of steel plate and inlaid on him and in a blink of an eye, it turned into a burly figure with a battle axe and covered in armor. Damn it! Mechanical cow! What a cool mechanical weapon! A burst of exclamations from the lords came from the stands. Some are extremely envious and hate that they are not the lord of the mechanical system. After all, possessing armor and giant mechas are the dreams of many of them. However, among these lords, there are also a lot of knowledgeable people, who can recognize the Torrent's arms at a glance. It is a rare unit of the mechanical system. It has no combat ability, 
but it can cover the Lord and greatly improve the Lord's combat ability. I've only seen this unit once in the Battle of Ten Thousand Realms, but I didn't expect to see it today. The most important thing is that the Tauran race itself is not weak in fighting ability. There's a good show to watch now. The voice of discussion continued to echo between the stands. On the field, Lin Yu also looked at the person with a surprised expression, this Tauran. I don't know if it's legit or not. It's a pity that he was not given a chance to think about it at all. After the mecha was loaded, the Tauran immediately roared and rushed into the forest with the sound of banging footsteps. Love reading. Humans. Get out and die. Before the sound fell, the giant axe in his hand slammed into a big tree in front of him. Boom. A bang. The big tree that the five or six people hugged was easily cut off and slowly fell down in a violent smoke. Whoosh. At this moment, giant vines appeared and surrounded the Tauran from every corner of the forest. The speed is as fast as a swimming python. Haha, <laughs> you want to beat me at this level? Get away from me. Taurus shouted violently, and it was actually holding the axe in both hands, spinning rapidly in place. In the blink of an eye, a gust of wind blew up, and one after another chi blade shot out with the Tauran as the center, cutting off all the surrounding vines. Even the nearby trees were cut open one after another and collapsed with a rumble. It's the gale slash skill of that mechanical arm. What a perverted skill. I'm afraid this power has exceeded the Eighth Order, right? I'm afraid that plant guy will suffer. The lords who originally watched the battle thought that Lin Yu had a higher chance of winning. But after seeing the Torrent's arms and the power of skills, their thoughts changed immediately. No matter how many vines you have, no matter how big you are. Wasn't it still easily defeated? Under such a dense attack, it is impossible to even get close to the body of others. This time it's troublesome, it's only the second time to encounter such a difficult opponent. Situ Jian, who was resting and watching the battle in the stands, frowned. Originally, he wanted to rely on Lin Yuyanli and his own three to win more games and try to improve the ranking as much as possible. But now, things seem to be a little bad. If Lin Yu was defeated, they would not even be able to enter the top 100, let alone get rewards. On the other hand, Lin Yan and the others, who were in the immortal world, were gloating on their faces, wishing that Lin Yu would be directly cut down by the Tauran and defeated. It's better to kill him directly. This can be considered to solve a big problem for them. Something's wrong. Look at what that is. Suddenly, another exclamation sounded, interrupting everyone's discussion. The lords on the stage looked into the forest one after another, and found that for some unknown reason, the vine suddenly appeared a large red light, and the momentum was suddenly mentioned, and even the speed suddenly accelerated. Clang! The harsh collision reverberated in the forest. The Tauran, which was spinning rapidly, actually stopped and was blocked by a few red vines. And the battle axe in his hand is deeply embedded in the vine, but it is difficult to save half of it. How come? The Tauran's bull's eyes widened. The power of his move exceeds the eighth rank, and he can't even break through the opponent's defense? It's a pity that Lin Yu didn't give him a chance to think about it at all. The moment the red light spreads, the vines around them are like crazy, rushing out from the depths of the forest, and in a blink of an eye, they break through the tower in defense and surround him. Want to beat me? It's not that easy. The tower and body sank, and the hoof burst violently. The huge body and armor got rid of the vines directly, rushed into the sky, and instantly locked on Lin Yu deep in the forest, and the ivy body beside him. Eat your grandfather's axe. The Torrent's eyes sank, and his voice was shocking. The huge battle axe was raised high above his head and crashed down towards Lin Yu's position. Block him. Lin Yu calmly ordered Qingting beside him. In the next second, the vines covering the entire forest suddenly rushed out, turned into tentacles in the sky, and collided with the Tauran in the air. Boom. The entire space in the venue shook violently. The incomparably tyrannical air wave, centered on the collision between the two, surged out towards the surroundings, and slammed into the wall formed by the light curtain, which shocked the audience. 
Looking at the sky again, the Tauran had already broken the battle axe and flew out dripping with blood. Lost. Such a tyrannical Tauran actually lost, the audience was shocked to the extreme, and their mouths opened wide. It was obviously still a great situation just now, why did you suddenly lose? And it was so utterly defeated. Boom. A muffled sound echoed through the forest. After the Tauran, the thirtieth lord to play fell under the attack of Ching Ivy's poisonous fog. All the lords were dumbfounded, looking at Lin Yu standing proudly in the arena, and Ching Ting beside him. A full thirty-game winning streak. There is no game that lasts more than five minutes, and some even kill directly in one face-to-face. -face. Just horrible. What kind of monster is that unit? How can it recover so quickly? Isn't it time to run out of energy? The long-lasting fighting ability of the plant system is too strong. Which realm is he the lord of? In the stands, the lords were talking a lot, all speculating about Lin Yu's identity. No way. The strength that Lin Yu showed was really terrifying. Not to mention the strength of its own combat power, even the arms are terrifyingly strong, and the recovery ability is even more perverted to the extreme. After thirty consecutive battles, there was no sign of defeat. The lords who are paying attention to the forest grounds can't help but feel fear, and no one dares to challenge him again. As for those arrogant figures from all walks of life, they felt that they were unsure of winning. There is no reason to waste a precious opportunity to fight against such a powerful enemy for the sake of a momentary spirit. Therefore, many of them put their eyes on other venues, specifically picking soft persimmons to improve their points in the realm. The entire arena was constantly shouting and colliding, and the lords on each field were fighting fiercely. Only the venue where Lin Yu was located was quiet. No one else? Lin Yu, who was sitting beside Ching Ting's body, muttered to himself, and was also relieved. Promoting the power of the rules for a long time still consumes a lot of him. It's just that he didn't show it. After all, he only has the seventh rank now, and the power of rules is a power that can only be mastered by the tenth rank. Those people didn't come to challenge, and he was happy to relax. Anyway, it was less than ten minutes before the end of the secret realm. Just use this time to observe other battles. At this time, the lords who can stay on the field are basically not weak, and everyone's means are endless. Lin, you even saw a sea clan lord manipulating whales in the sea area. The huge size of the whale is no less than his green ivy. Just to turn over, it set off a large wave, knocking out the opponent. On the other side of the sky area, it is empty, with only a few floating stone platforms to stand on. The lords above fought more intensely. All the flying units were violently colliding, and they were inseparable in the air. It is also the battle that attracts the most attention from the lords outside the field and has the highest voice. Lin Yu took a look, Yen Lai, who played before him, had already lost the battle. Even Situ Jian was not on the field. It seems that it was consumed too much by the wheel battle, and there is no way to continue to support it. I don't know how many places I can rank. Lin Yu muttered to himself, and couldn't help looking into the air. Okay? Suddenly, he frowned. I didn't notice it during the battle just now. Now he suddenly discovered that on each battle arena, there were wisps of faint red aura flying out, converging towards the center of the arena. Especially when a lord was killed, the aura was even more obvious. Together, with the shouts and roars from outside the arena, they also turned into auras that circled the entire arena. In the end, it submerged into the ground where the three areas intersect. Something's wrong. In the stands, Situ Jian also discovered the abnormality in the arena, and his face suddenly became solemn. What's wrong? The Yan Sing next to him showed doubts. Looking at the stands of the major realms, many lords began to notice this change, and they couldn't help but be surprised. But before they could think about it, a prompt suddenly sounded. Congratulations to the lords, the temple sacrifice is over. Points ranking in progress. Boom. The entire venue began to vibrate violently. The lords who were still fighting were all forced to teleport back to the stand. 
and the three areas on the field also began to disappear quickly and retracted to the ground. Along with the corpses and blood on the ground, they were also swallowed up and disappeared into the arena. And what they don't know is. As the reminder of the end of the secret realm appeared, there was also a loud rumbling sound on the desert area of the main plane of the monster, and the entire desert area began to vibrate. What happened? Could it be an earthquake? Could it be that something happened in the secret realm? Outside the entrance of the pyramid, the seventh and eighth order lords who failed to enter the secret realm kept screaming. Many of them didn't arrive in time and were rejected by the secret realm. There is more than the seventh order, unable to enter the secret realm. But now that such drastic changes have taken place around the entrance of the secret realm, they are all subconsciously vigilant, and they all stay away from the location of the entrance. At this time, inside the secret realm, after a short pause, a prompt finally sounded in Lin Yu's mind. Congratulations, your area basically got 128 points, ranking 9th. The reward has been distributed to your personal space, please check it yourself. Everyone in the primitive world was shocked and immediately became ecstatic. Ninth. They actually made it into the top 10. Although it is only at the end of the top 10, the rewards obtained are of the same grade. 1 SSS level secret treasure, and 10 7th level territory essences. Make them both thrilled and unbelievable. This is also thanks to Lin Yu and the three of them for their efforts at the end, and they directly gained nearly 60 points. Coupled with the victories contributed by other lords, they finally surpassed the realms ahead of them in one fell swoop and managed to squeeze into the top 10. By Chu Name, looking at the extra treasures and essences in his personal space, Lin, you couldn't hide his excitement, and immediately took it out to check. Army treasure, SSS after using it, get a SSS level soldier treasure that matches your territory. It turned out to be a match for the territory? Lin Yu's eyes lit up, he didn't expect the rewards of this large-scale secret realm to be so good. He was a little worried about whether he would reward the secret treasures he didn't use. But before he could use it, the entire arena suddenly banged, and huge cracks appeared on the field, spreading rapidly around. Not good. This secret space is about to collapse. Everyone ran away. The lords made a mess in an instant, and they didn't have the mind to continue to check the rewards, and they rushed towards the entrance. Let's go too quickly, this secret realm is a bit wrong, it seems that something has been triggered. Situ Jian hurriedly said, and also kept up with the fleeing team. Lin, you put away the secret treasure and followed everyone's footsteps with Yen Lai with a solemn expression. As early as when the secret realm was opened, he had already noticed a trace of anomaly. Because the name of this secret realm is not called the arena, but the temple of sacrifices. I'm afraid it is as he thought, it is an activity of a certain ethnic group to worship the gods. And the lords who fought and died. It is a sacrifice for sacrifice was thinking. There was another loud noise behind him. The speed of the collapse of the secret realm suddenly accelerated, and large cracks began to appear in the murals on the edge of the passage, and it felt like it would collapse at any time. Quick! The passage is about to collapse. Run away! The entire passage was in chaos, and the lords accelerated and fled towards the entrance. Boom! At this time, the sound of the ground breaking came from behind them. Lin Yu turned back suddenly, and by the faint light at the end of the passage, he saw an unimaginably huge hand that suddenly stretched out from the ground. Puff, a mouthful of blood spewed out of his mouth uncontrollably. Lin Yu was shocked to the extreme. Just a glance. He felt the blood in his body surging frantically, as if his entire soul had been evacuated. What kind of existence is that? It's so scary. How dare you think too much, immediately cast a healing spell on yourself, and then speed up and escape to the outside. Finally. After more than half a minute of running for their lives, the lords all fled the secret realm and came outside the pyramid. And the pyramid behind them, also in a rumbling vibration, gradually sank into the ground. Instead, a vast black beam of light descended straight down from the sky. The Demon Projection Everyone, be careful. 
what's going on? How come the demon projection suddenly appeared here? What? In an instant, screams rang out. But all the lords who were touched by the beam of light were all turned into fly ash, and not even remained. The rest of the other lords were stunned and desperately fled from where the beam of light was. Fortunately, Lin Yu and the others summoned the flying troops to fly away, in time to escape this unpredictable disaster. But even so, their hearts were still terrified. Because of the ordinary projection beam, it is impossible to have such a terrifying power, let alone kill the Seventh Order Lord directly. Is this a Tenth Order projection failure? Ignorant ants, greed will kill you sooner or later. Suddenly, an indifferent voice resounded from the sky above the sky everyone looked up at the sky, and their pupils shrank suddenly. I saw above the black beam of light, a holy angel, with closed eyes, and only half wings slowly descended. Wherever you go, the space freezes. An aura like an ancient prehistoric shroud enveloped the entire desert, making all the leaders unable to move, only feeling that their chests were about to burst. Boom! The body of a lord who was closest to him suddenly exploded, and blood splattered all over the floor. The other lords were terrified and panicked. Just relying on momentum, let a seventh order lord explode and die? But they didn't give them much time to think, and there was a series of bangs on the side. Those weak lords, whose bodies exploded one after another, were killed on the spot, and they couldn't even resist. Despair filled the hearts of all lords at this moment. Even Lin Yu felt like a drop in the ocean, so insignificant in front of the other party's aura. Fortunately, at this time, several proud figures suddenly appeared, surrounding the angel in the middle. Tiancheng, stop now. With a loud shout, the leader of the old man void made a handprint to disperse the opponent's momentum, and also let everyone below loosen, and finally got rid of the terrifying shackles. Then, the lords looked at the sky in unison. When he saw the appearance of the old man who had just shot, Yen Lai, who was beside him, was stunned. Situ Jian, isn't that your father? Lin Yu was secretly surprised. Isn't Situ Jian's father the ruler of Chongfeng Empire, the great emperor of Chongfeng? They didn't expect to see them here, and they saved their lives. In this way, several figures should also be the great emperors of several nearby realms. What kind of terrifying existence is it that attracts so many great emperors at once? He came anyway. Situ Jian's face was dark, and his eyes were fixed on the Chongfeng Emperor in the air. Some time ago, he knew the news that the man had returned from a serious injury. Just didn't ask. Now, seeing him in this way, and indirectly saving his life, can be described as very complicated. However, his eyes gradually turned cold again. Lin Yu, who was on the side, looked at the figure called Heavenly Saint in shock. Then, an interface appeared in front of him. Name, Judgment Holy Angel Tiancheng, Royal Family. Race, Angel. Level, Tier 12, Strength. Constitution. Agile. Spirit. Skill. Introduction, Under the Throne of the Demon God, the 72 Heavenly Demons are ranked 10th and they are in charge of adjudication and can adjudicate all evils in the world. Tier 12 Lin Yu was shocked, and his pupils shrank to the extreme. That wasn't what shocked him the most. What surprised him the most was the name on the interface. Royal Family This was the first time that Lin Yu saw the word Royal Family in an existence other than his arms. And what's even more terrifying is that this ruling holy angel is not a projection. It's the demon deity. 72 demons ranked 10th. How terrifying is this strength? Don't talk about him, even the great emperor Chongfeng and several other great emperors are all dreaded, they don't shoot easily, they just keep guard from a distance. At the same time, similar situations also appear in various positions on the main plane of monsters. A beam of light descended, exuding a boundless power. Lin, you counted a total of 68. That is to say, there are 68 demons, descending at the same time. What exactly happened? Is it because of the large secret realm just now? Lin Yu was full of doubts. 
It's a pity that he didn't give him a chance to think about it. Tianqing, who was surrounded by the emperor, said indifferently, I'm not here to fight you, let's go. After finishing speaking, the scepter in his hand tapped into the void, and the holy feathers fell off his wings and slowly flew into the huge void created by the disappearance of the bottom pyramid. Then a terrifying evil spirit rose into the sky, and in a violent vibration, the surging yellow sand buried it again, and gradually returned to its original desert appearance. Vaguely, it seemed that a heart-piercing roar of anger could be heard, which was intimidating. When he came back to his senses, the black beam of light had dissipated. And the figure of Tianqing has long since disappeared, as if it had never appeared. Gollum. The people below couldn't help swallowing and looked at the figure standing in the air. For many of them, it was the first time they had seen the great emperor at such a close distance, and it was conceivable how shocking they were in their hearts. At the same time, I felt extremely excited, even excited. They actually saw existences standing at the top of the continents from all walks of life, and they saw several at once. This encounter was enough for them to go back and brag about it for a while. Of course, they didn't forget the thrill just now, and they couldn't help but feel a little scared. Fortunately, the great emperors arrived in time, otherwise they would have exploded and died under the terrifying pressure. How dare you stay, retreating one by one, summoning troops to leave here as if fleeing. It was only then that Emperor Changfeng suddenly turned his head and looked towards Lin Yu. To be precise, it should be looking at Situ Jian beside him. Let's go back. The indifferent voice fell, tearing apart the space and leaving directly with Situ Jian. It also made the entire field instantly empty. This, this is the end? Yan Lai looked stunned. I thought the great emperor could take me along for the ride. It's not bad to be able to save a small life. Lin, you couldn't help laughing. This Yan Lai is really a rough line. It's such a time, but the thought is to let the great emperor take him for a ride, so that his nervousness is immediately gone. But think about it. Yan Lai's orcs have no ability to fly, and it is quite troublesome to rush back to the entrance of the plane from here. After thinking about it, he summoned another demon king dragon and said, Let my troops take you for a ride, so it will be faster to fly back. Haha, <laughs> then thank you brother Lin. Yen Lai grinned, and without being polite to Lin Yu, jumped directly onto the back of the demon king dragon. I really envy those of you who have flying mounts. I have to get one when I go back another day. With your strength, it shouldn't be difficult to get a flying mount, right? Lin Yu asked, strangely. It's not difficult, but my ability is linked to momentum. The more orc troops, the stronger the momentum, so I simply repatriated all the flying troops, hee <laughs> hee. Lin Yu was speechless, and then his mind moved, and the two demon king dragons flew away from the desert and rushed back towards the entrance. When the other lords reacted, they also dispersed, not daring to stay in the right and wrong places. In a blink of an eye, the lords on the entire desert disappeared, leaving only a bloodstain that had just exploded, which was soon covered with yellow sand and disappeared. By the way, Brother Lin Yu, what kind of treasure did you get? Weed. On the way, Yan Lai took out the secret treasure reward he got in the secret realm and used it directly. After a flash of light, a drop of bright red blood the size of a thumb appeared in his hand, wrapped in the light. Fuck. Good luck. Yen Lai's eyes widened, his expression very rich, as if he had discovered some powerful secret treasure. Lin Yu took advantage of the situation, and the attributes of the secret treasure also came into view. Army treasure, beast blood boiling. Treasure type, skill. Treasure level, SSS level. Secret treasure effect, enables troops to obtain the skill, beast blood boiling. After activation, their strength increases by 30%. They are not afraid of pain, but they will fall into madness. They will attack all surrounding creatures except the orcs. It lasts for 30 seconds and takes 30 minutes to recover. Orcs only. Introduction The secret treasure used to strengthen the arms can be used in the base of the arms, and only a single type of arms can be strengthened. It turned out to be a very rare skill treasure and the effect is extremely powerful, 
increasing the strength by 30%, which is a perfect match with Yen Lai's orcs. This Yen Lai is afraid that he will go further and further on the road of violent madness. Hey, good luck, it seems that it is better for me not to waste my quota to summon flying units, Lin Yu was silent. He finally knew why Yen Lai didn't have a flying unit. Co-authoring is to keep the summoning position for all summoned orcs. However, he also learned the power of Qinggong's savage roar through Yen Lai's secret treasure. Although it is also a 30% increase in attributes. But SSS level secret treasures only increase a single attribute. The savage roar directly increases all attributes without any side effects. The gap is more than one or two points. Sure enough, the exclusive skills of the royal arms are still very strong. After thinking about it, he also took out his secret treasure reward and used it directly. Swish. The light comes on. A golden leaf like a shield appeared in his hand. Army treasure, all or nothing. Treasure type, skill. Treasure level, SSS level. Secret treasure effect, makes the troops obtain the skill, desperate throwing. After casting, all attributes are reset to zero, and all are converted into physique, which lasts for 10 seconds. During the duration, they cannot move and cannot attack. All the power of nature is consumed. Plant type troops can be used. Introduction The secret treasure used to strengthen the arms can be used in the base of the arms, and only a single type of arms can be strengthened. Is it a skill treasure? Lin Yu looked startled, showing slight surprise. As expected, most of the plant based secret treasures are defensive and healing. In 10 seconds, all the attributes are accumulated on the physique which is simply outrageous. That's the side effect of being unable to move and unable to attack. And using it once will consume all the power of nature, which is more exaggerated than the great skills of some plants. Your secret treasure, it doesn't seem like it? Seeing the attributes of this secret treasure, Yen Lai said bluntly, and at the same time, felt a little regretful. It's okay, it can be used. Lin Yu smiled slightly and there was a hint of joy in his eyes. If this secret treasure is given to other lords, it may not be able to exert its full effect, and it may even turn the troops into beating stakes. But he is different. Because his symbiotic moss does not need to move or attack. This secret treasure is used for symbiotic moss, and it is a perfect match. It turned into a super life-saving skill, with no side effects. Not to mention the consumption of all the power of nature. The symbiotic moss itself has the ability to naturally infuse this energy recovery, plus the blessing of Lingxi's aura, it is completely fine to use it for the second time within five minutes. Greatly reduced skill cooldowns. As soon as the skill is activated, all the proliferating bodies will increase their physique by about 3,500, and the defense will explode directly. It is not a problem to resist the attack of the Ninth Order Army or the Monster Group. Certainly. He is not stupid enough to go to the Ninth Order Lord to test. After all, this skill only lasts 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, it is time to run or run. Unless he rises to the 8th rank, he can still have a battle if he replaces all the arms with the 8th rank. You seem very happy, is this secret treasure really that good? Yen Lai didn't know what Lin Yu was thinking, and looked suspicious. It's all right. Lin Yu didn't say much about the secret treasure, but changed the subject and said, What are your plans after you go back? Will you come to explore the main plane with Situ Jian? It should be, but my faith is full. In the past few days, I should be busy with the 8th tier promotion first, and then I will recruit all the 8th tier arms. Also to Lin Yu nodded silently. With Yen Lai's strength, it is only a matter of time before the 8th rank is raised. And after rising to the 8th rank, you can directly use the magic energy to recruit the 8th rank troops, and you can also increase the upper limit of the troops. This is a big increase in strength. This is also the reason why it is difficult for low-level lords to compete with lords one level higher than themselves. Because the troops you have worked so hard to upgrade with the essence of the territory can be summoned by high-level lords and there are more of them than you. 
Even if Lin Yu has several royal arms with attributes above the 8th rank, he is not sure that he will be able to block all the ranks of the 8th rank. So to sum up. The territorial level is the key to improving the strength, no wonder so many people go crazy for the power of faith. When Lin Yu returned to the territory, it was almost evening. It took him more than half a day to travel and fight in the secret realm. With the return of the lords, the news in the large-scale secret realm was like a hurricane, and it spread all over the sanctuary and various countries in a blink of an eye. Damn. Those who entered the secret realm have all obtained an SSS-level weapon secret treasure. Nima. If I knew this earlier, I would try my best to rush over. Ah, ah, I hate it. I almost entered the secret realm, but I didn't catch up. I also arrived when the entrance was closed, blood loss. SSS level secret treasure, how much is it worth, those dozens of are afraid they can wake up laughing from their dreams. This is too fierce, isn't it? It can even be ranked ninth among the lords of 10,000 realms? I heard that I got the reward because there were three big bosses leading the way. The mood of the primitive world lords at this time can be described in one sentence. That is sour. Enter a dungeon, and you can get a SSS-level secret treasure and ten territorial essences. If this is placed before, it is a huge resource that they can't imagine. That's an SSS-level secret treasure. It is possible to obtain it only by clearing the personal secret realm of the same level or by killing the Lord Monster. You can imagine how difficult it is to get it. Even now, many lords still use secret treasures below C rank, and a rank doesn't dare to think about it, let alone SSS rank. So soon, the sanctuary set off a frenzy of acquisitions. Those lords with small capital have all spoken out, wanting to ask to buy the SSS level secret treasures in their hands, or simply inquire about the whereabouts of those who came out of the large secret realm. As for what means to use to get the secret treasure in their hands, it is unknown. But anyway. The dozens of surviving lords were lucky enough to have such a huge harvest by hugging their thighs. And in their word of mouth, Lin Yu's name gradually spread in the circle of Seventh Order lords. Especially when he heard that he was pressing Barbarian Mountain in the secret realm and thwarting the lords of all walks of life, it caused an uproar. There are also various speculations and discussions about the appearance of the emperor, almost filling the entire sanctuary center and the floating islands. Makes the entire archipelago area more lively than usual. But, all these have nothing to do with Lin Yu for the time being. After returning to the territory, he quickly bound the new treasure to the symbiotic moss. Then, use the territory essence you just obtained to raise another piranha with the undead domain skill to tier 8. Suddenly, he had two Eighth Order plants other than the royal family. The reason why they promoted Piranha first was because the immortal flowers they summoned could not exceed their own level. If you want to resurrect the Eighth Order undead flower, you still have to go up to the Eighth Order first. This will maximize his combat power. Then he looked at the remaining territorial essence, and there were eight more, most of which were obtained by killing the Lord with luck in the secret realm of the temple. Even the magic energy has risen to more than 17 million, which can be regarded as a small amount of liquidity. In general, the harvest of his trip to the secret realm is still very rich. Except for the giant hand that inexplicably appeared in the secret realm of the temple. Is it suppressing something? Lin Yu frowned, his eyes solemn, although it was just a quick glimpse. But it is still possible to estimate the size of the giant hand from the sight distance at least it is tens of thousands of meters high. And he just glanced at it, and his blood surged directly, and he almost fainted on the ground. Even in the body of the great emperor, he has never felt this way. It's just one hand. God knows how terrifying the owner of that hand is, I'm afraid it won't be easy to crush a world. Certainly. This is just a random guess by Lin Yu. He is still too far away from that level, and the more he improves his strength, the more he feels his own insignificance. There is also a deep sense of powerlessness. Especially when I met the demon deity today, this feeling was magnified infinitely. 72 heavenly demons ranked 10, and he was already able to frighten so many great emperors by himself, so he didn't dare to take action lightly. 
how scary would the higher rankings be? He couldn't imagine it, he couldn't imagine it. Lord Lord, are you inside? At this moment, Su Zhong's call came from outside the territory, interrupting his thoughts. Come in. Lin, you glanced around and asked Qingting to make way for him. After a while, Su Zhong hurriedly walked into the territory with a notebook and came to him. I have seen the Lord. Is there a problem? Lin Yu asked directly, it's about the opening of the flight route. Su Zhong replied respectfully, at noon today, several lords in the principality sent people by airship, saying they wanted us to open the flight route to them. Oh? Where are all the lords? Most of them are lords near the route, but there is a strange one who claims to have come from the Dwarf Kingdom. Dwarf Kingdom? Lin Yu was slightly taken aback. Gu Xian. Yes, the Dwarf Kingdom is similar to the Elf Empire. It is built in a black rock mountain covered with volcanoes. They came this time, not for the flight route, but for the Dwarf tribe in our territory. Come to see McGann and the others. Lin Yu frowned, gradually. The Elf Empire is the center of the continent. However, the Xingyao Empire was close to the western wasteland. Running from such a far place, the strength is definitely not bad, or it is using ultra-long-distance teleportation. Either way, it feels bad. Could it be that the tribes came to seek revenge, or to bring Magorn and the others back to the kingdom? Yes. McGann said it before. The hammer of war represents the will of the god of war, and only one can appear at a time. Only when the owner falls will he be recalled by the god of war again to wait for the next builder. Could it be that the other party wants to the Ares hammer to consolidate the kingship? It's really possible. Did the dwarf say anything else? Lin Yu asked again. This, he seems to have said that he belongs to the kingdom of dwarves, the Darkspear tribe. Darkspear tribe? Lin Yu was puzzled. He had heard McGunn say before that the kingdom of the dwarves was ruled by the Dark Iron tribe, who were best at governing and managing. The Darkspear tribe is the support of the dwarf kingdom, and its fighting ability is the strongest among all tribes. Even other tribes have their own strengths. For example, the forging ability of the Warhammer tribe of Magn and his is not comparable to other tribes. If it was the Dark Iron tribe who ruled the dwarf kingdom, he would still understand. But why the Darkspear tribe? Go, take me to see. Immediately, Lin Yu asked Su Zhong to lead the way, left the territory directly, and hurried to Huangsha City. Soon. He came to the reception hall in the city, and sure enough, from a distance, he saw a group of well-equipped dwarves with spears standing outside, with a large group of people watching from a distance. Walking through the crowd into the reception hall, I heard McGann's voice coming from inside. You mean, now those clans have started civil unrest again? It seems that McGann has received the news and has come one step ahead. But it seems that the atmosphere is not as tense as he imagined, of course, it is not too good. Without thinking much, Lin Yu walked in directly. When I saw it, I saw Shui Chang Gui and McGunn standing together, and there was a strange dwarf on the opposite side who looked a little older than McGunn with a spear on his back. Lord Lord! When Shui Changue saw Lin Yu, he immediately greeted him. Both McGann and the dwarf who were talking also cast their gazes. Lin Yu, you're here just in time. Seeing Lin Yu, McGorn also walked up to him, I'll introduce to you, this is my comrade, Razor Darkspear, now the warrior chief of the Darkspear tribe. It turns out to be the same clan of McGann, welcome and welcome. Lin Yu smiled slightly and looked at each other, secretly. When Razor Darkspear heard the words, he said curiously, Are you the lord here? It's me. Lin Yu nodded, I wonder why you all came from the dwarf kingdom all the way? He's to bring back our Warhammer clan. McGann on the side interjected. Really? For this matter? It seems he guessed right. Lin Yu was stunned in his heart, but his expression did not change much. He looked at McGann, What about you? What are your plans? Although the Warhammer tribe is nominally his subject, he is not good at interfering with the other party's whereabouts. What's more, he and McGuinn are also friends. 
If McGunn really wants to leave, he will naturally not obstruct him. What he didn't expect, however, was that McGann suddenly snorted coldly, I don't want to go back, I haven't thought of us for so many years, and now I suddenly ran over, isn't it for the war god's hammer? There are also many small branches in each tribe of the dwarves. And the faction that Magna belonged to was the one that lost the power struggle, so it had to leave the dwarf kingdom and live elsewhere. As a result, I didn't expect that this departure would be hundreds of years old. I am afraid that the Dwarf Kingdom has long forgotten this branch, right? It is estimated that this is also the reason why McGann is angry. If it weren't for the fact that he succeeded in creating the Dwarf's sacred weapon, the God of Warhammer, the kingdom would not have thought of them at all, let alone sent someone over. Magna, you should know the significance of the God of War's hammer to our dwarves. Lasia said anxiously. Now the kingdom is in civil strife. Without this, it is impossible for the major clans to unite, and no one can rule them. You don't want to see so many of your same clan die in the slaughter, right? This, McGunn opened his mouth, looking a little hesitant. Their Warhammer tribe likes to forge, but not to fight, and they can't see so many tribes dying. But let him go back like this, and he feels sorry for the firm belief that the tribe's ancestors took them away from the kingdom. In the end, he had to look to Lin Yu for help. Lin Yu naturally knew what he wanted to say, so he smiled slightly, you decide this matter yourself, no matter what decision you make, I will support you. Through the conversation between the two, he already knew the whole story of the matter, and he was secretly relieved. Because whether McGann goes or stays, it's good for him. If Magna can really become the king of the dwarf kingdom in the future, then he is equivalent to establishing a long-term friendship with the Dwarf Kingdom, which will also be of great benefit to the development of his territory in the future. Since this is the case, then I will go back and discuss with the clan first. With Lin Yu's acquiescence, McGann was also relieved. Because he knew very well that if it wasn't for Lin Yu, he would have died on the original volcano. Not to mention providing him with materials later, building the Hammer of the God of War and providing him with a place to live. In fact, he doesn't really want to leave here. He has long been accustomed to the quiet life here and this borderland. It's just that he couldn't bear to watch his family fall into civil strife. So soon, he rushed back to the mountains with the dwarves of the Darkspear tribe and began to discuss this matter with the tribe. Lord Lord, are the dwarves really leaving our Yellow Sand City? Aside, Shue Changue couldn't help asking. The older you get, the less you see this distinction. What's more, the dwarves have already become one with them during this period of time, and even from time to time, dwarves will come over to have dinner parties with them and drink wine. He also regarded the dwarves as his own. Now that he suddenly said he wanted to leave, he was inevitably a little heavy. Don't worry, even if they really want to leave, they won't cut off contact with us. Lin, you still believes very much in McGowan's character. Anyway, he has a door to the secret realm, which can be teleported to the sanctuary at any time. And since the Dwarf Kingdom is near the Elf Empire, it shouldn't be too far from the sanctuary, so you can still see it if you want. Only. In the end, it's still a bit sad. And while the two were talking, McGunn and the others also quickly left Yellow Sand City and rushed back to the tribe. Gather the elders and the clansmen, old and young, around the melting pot and start a clan meeting. After a brief introduction to Thunder Spear and the others, McGuinn directly explained the cause and effect of everything and asked the people for their opinions. Does the patriarch mean to let us vote to stay? After listening to the story, McGunn's father, the great elder of the Warhammer tribe, was the first to ask. Well, Ling Yu is very good, so let us decide whether to stay or not. McGuinn nodded and said. His voice was much lower than usual, and it kept echoing around the melting pot and on the surging lava. This moment. All the dwarfs fell silent, even the most stubborn elders who wanted to recognize their ancestors and return to the sect were silent. Not to mention the young dwarves. Many of them were born after the tribe broke away from the kingdom. The kingdom of dwarves is too unfamiliar to them, and it is not even as good as the farmers who deliver food to them in Huangsha City. 
they managed to build a stable home here. Now that I suddenly say I want to leave, I will inevitably feel a little mixed, and I don't know what to do for a while. The whole melting pot was silent. Only the sound of lava surging could be heard. Patriarch. Finally, the fire sitting on the anvil next to him spoke. His expression seemed a little hesitant, but after meeting McGann's gaze, he suddenly became firm. I don't really want to get out of here. Why? McGunn's expression did not change, and he was fixedly watching him. It's nothing, I just like it here. The beard on the corners of Agni's mouth cocked slightly. The people in Huangsha City are very good. They often help us. They also secretly send us more food. They also invite us over when they are drinking. I also met many people from the human race. I think, compared to the dwarf kingdom I have never seen, I may be more suitable here. If the fire stays, then I stay too. Bar Tom said next. Then, as if opening a chat box, the other dwarves also began to express their opinions. The same is true for me. I'm used to working in the blacksmith shop. Those human friends are very kind to me. I will go, wherever the patriarch goes. If it's just another place, I think it's fine here. Those clans like to make trouble, let them make trouble. What's the matter with our Warhammer clan? I want to go back to the kingdom to see, but I can't remember what it was like after I've been away for too long. Dwarves, you have every word and every opinion. But more, or the group who decided to stay, almost accounted for the vast majority. Do not know why. Seeing the reaction of the clansmen, McGunn felt a sense of relief, and his face returned to ease. He thought for a while, finally made a decision, and turned to look at Leja, beside him, Leja, you also saw that my clansmen don't seem to want to leave very much. But I can promise you that I will come back to the kingdom with you to solve the troubles in the kingdom, but I will come back here after things are done, this. Leja and his subordinates looked at each other, looking a little embarrassed. But seeing the reaction of everyone in the Warhammer tribe, he couldn't say anything, at least this result was better than the worst result he thought. Well then, when do we leave? Tomorrow, I have to tell Lin Yu that I can also use his portal to teleport to the sanctuary. Well, it will be much faster indeed. Leja's eyes lit up, obviously he also knew the door to the secret realm. After all, he came here this time but he spent a lot of resources to start ultra-long-distance teleportation. If you can borrow the door of the secret realm, it is naturally the best to do it conveniently. That's all. After a brief discussion, the meeting finally ended successfully. With this news, McGowan quickly found Lin Yu, who was inspecting work outside Huangsha City, and passed it on to him. You won't be in any danger in the past, will you? Lin Yu, who received the news, was still very happy, and at the same time asked worriedly. Don't worry, the Darkspear tribe is very closely related to the Warhammer tribe. We provide them with equipment, and they provide us with warriors. McGann said lightly. Indeed. Leja nodded silently. And the God of War's hammer represents the will of the God of War. Anyone who dares to disrespect the will of the God of War will be attacked by all tribes. You can rest assured. I will do my best to protect the safety of Magorn. You? Lin, you looked at Leja suspiciously. No matter how you look at it, he seems to be only Ninth Order. Although it is not bad on the mainland, it is inevitable to encounter more Ninth Order, or even more than Ninth Order existences. Human. Are you doubting the strength of our Dark Spear clan? Seemingly seeing the suspicion in his eyes, Thunder Spear suddenly became annoyed, looking like he was blowing his beard and staring. Fortunately, McGunn responded in a timely manner, and quickly stopped in front of him, explaining, The Thunder Spear tribe is the most powerful tribe of our dwarves, and they are born with the ability to communicate with gods. Don't think that Leja only has the ninth rank. When he is in real battle, he can obtain the power of the of war by communicating with the gods and force him to upgrade to the first rank in a short time. With his protection, it is completely enough. Forced promotion to the first rank, Lin Yu was shocked. If the ninth rank goes up one rank, isn't that the tenth rank? 
The fighting talent of this Thunder Spear tribe is so terrifying. Although it is only a short-term improvement, the Tenth Order and Ninth Order are not the same nature. In that short period of time, it was enough to kill the Ninth Order several times. He now seems to understand a little bit why the dwarves have such a powerful forging method, but they can still resist those greedy aliens. Relying on this talent alone, few forces would dare to provoke them. Humph. Do you know you're afraid? Leja raised his head proudly, as if he was talking about him. It's really awesome. Lin, you had to admit this fact. Then he thought of something, and continued, when you return from the sanctuary, you should pass through the elf empire, right? Yes, our dwarf kingdom has a good relationship with the elf empire, so we will go to their imperial capital, to borrow a teleportation array, and teleport directly back to the dwarf kingdom. Really? That's right. I have something to do to go to the forest of spirits. I'll go with you when the time comes. Are you going to the forest of spirits? McDonough and Leija were stunned for a moment and looked at him in surprise. I don't object to this, but you should know that the elves do not welcome humans into their forests. Are you sure you want to go there? Leija is right. Those annoying guys from the elves are very arrogant. If you are not careful, you may be attacked. What are you doing there? It's for this. Ling Yu flipped his palm and revealed the mark on the back of his hand. The two of them heard the words and looked at the back of his hand. Just the next second. Rachel's eyes suddenly widened. This is the mark of the Mother Nature. How can you have such a thing? What did you say? This is the mark of the of elves? McGann was also stunned. He had seen this mark on the back of Lin Yu's hand before. At the time, he only thought it was some kind of strange enchantment, but Leija's exclamation shocked him greatly. Obviously, he also knew about the god's mark. Only Lin Yu didn't know why, and said strangely, this was when I communicated with the tree in the Temple of Nature in the sanctuary before, and the elves gave me this thing. Saying that, he took out the leaf-shaped token that the old elf gave him earlier. When Leija saw the token, his face suddenly became stunned. I can't go wrong. This leaf is something that can only be obtained by guests who are invited by the elves. VIP? Yes, they should want to know the oracle information from the of nature through the mark on your hand, just like our dwarves believe in the of war, and the elves believe in the of nature. I see. Lin Yu suddenly realized. If he said that, then he shouldn't have to worry about this mark being harmful to him. Just take this opportunity to visit the Elf Empire and solve the mystery that has entangled him for so long. Do not know why. He always felt that there was some shocking secret in it. If you don't solve it for a day, your heart will panic. This matter really can't be delayed for too long, it is better to solve it as soon as possible. Come on, we should go. Early the next morning. Ling Yu and Mudgone soon got ready and came to the gate of the secret realm. This is the first time that Lin Yu has brought people other than himself through the gate of the secret realm. However, he had already inquired about it yesterday, and this teleportation function can be used by others as long as the Lord allows it. So soon, they entered the door one after another and disappeared. Swish. Light flashed. They have already come to the floating islands. Still the same as usual. It was only morning and there were already a large number of pedestrians in the floating islands and the sanctuary center below, shouting and screaming incessantly. In the sky, there are constantly flying troops whizzing past, gathering towards the floating islands from all directions. Is this the sanctuary? McGann looked around curiously. Since he was born, he has been staying in the principality of Tianyin, where he had seen such a shocking picture, and he was instantly fixed in place. Didn't you say before that you know the Forest of Spirits? Why don't you even know about the sanctuary? Lin Yu wondered. Knowing that you have been here is two different things. McGuin glanced at him, I haven't been here, can't I listen to the elders in the clan mention it? I thought you were here before. Lin Yu shrugged, then looked at Leija next to him, you should know how to get to the Elf Empire, right? I know. Leija nodded, we often go to the sanctuary to find suitable materials. We are quite familiar with them. 
Come with me. As he said that, he led the team to the teleportation array on the edge of the platform and teleported directly to the street below. And this strange team suddenly attracted the attention of pedestrians on the street, all of them looked at them. It's the dwarves. There are actually dwarves here. Huh? It's really a dwarf, and there are so many at one time. What's the matter? Why is there a human race in there? Isn't it that dwarves don't like to associate with other races? Who's that person? Pedestrians talked a lot, and their eyes fell on Lin Yu with a look of doubt. No way. He was almost 1.8 meters tall standing in the dwarf team, it was too conspicuous, it was hard not to notice. Originally, Lin Yu wanted to summon the Demon King Dragon to take Magorn and the others on their way. But they said that they had to buy some crafting materials before going back, so they could only walk with them for a while. Young Master Lin? Suddenly, a familiar voice sounded behind him. Lin Yu paused for a moment, then turned around in confusion. I saw Lu Xinxing, the shopkeeper of Shifang Pavilion, appearing slowly in a carriage, sticking his head out of the carriage. After confirming Lin Yu's identity, his eyes suddenly lit up. It's really you, young Master Lin. I didn't expect to meet you here. Lu Xinxing looked surprised and looked at the dwarf team beside Lin Yu. Especially when he saw Lei Zhe next to Lin Yu, his pupils shrank even more. Darkspear Dwarf. And it's still level 9. As the third head of the Lu family, he can be said to be very familiar with the various secrets of the mainland, and he naturally knows the terrifying fighting talent of the Darkspear tribe dwarves. So when seeing the Lei Zhe level, the shock inside can be imagined. This is a terrifying existence that can exert its tenth-order strength. Oh, it turned out to be shopkeeper Lu. Lin, you didn't know what Lu Xinxing was thinking, but when he saw him appear, he stopped. I'm accompanying a few friends to buy some building materials. Friend? Lu Xinxing was shocked. Although he knew for a long time that Lin Yu had a connection with the dwarves, he couldn't help being a little surprised when he saw it with his own eyes, not to mention it was such a well-armed team. Is this going to go to war? And many more. By materials? Lu Xinxing's eyes suddenly lit up, and he said quickly, if young Master Lin doesn't dislike it, you can come to my Shifang Pavilion to select the materials. As long as we have no more than ten orders, we can sell them to you at the lowest price. This is a good opportunity to have a good relationship with the dwarves. How could he miss it so easily, and hurriedly got off the carriage? Lin Yu, is he your friend? McGann on the side asked suspiciously. At this time, he did not carry the god of war hammer on his back. After all, that was too ostentatious. Forget it, he helped sell the piece of equipment you built before. Lin, you said in a voice that only the two of them could hear. Immediately, McGuinn's expression suddenly appeared, and he took Lu Xinxing's eyes. In that case, Leisha, let's go buy materials from them. It's a bit of a waste of time to find them on the street. Okay, listen to you. Leisha nodded. Although McGunn has not yet officially become the king of the dwarf kingdom, he has successfully created a dwarven relic. Therefore, Leisha was more obedient to his words, and there was even a trace of respect in his words. And this reaction fell into the eyes of Lu Xinxing, who had just walked over, and it shocked him even more. To actually make the Ninth Order Darkspear Dwarf obey the order, what is the origin of this dwarf? Could it be the big man in the dwarf clan? To be able to be so closely related to such a task, this Lin Yu's identity is probably even more simple than he imagined. He didn't dare to think too much, so he hurriedly invited, everyone, please, I was just going to the store so I prepared a few more carriages, which would be a good way to hide people's eyes and ears. The last sentence, Lu Xinxing said in a low voice. Well, then there will be shopkeeper Lao Lu. Gu Jian. Lin, you didn't say much, he signaled to McGann and the others, and got on the horse, with Lu Xinxing. Until this time, the people on the side finally reacted and looked surprised. That seems to be... Lu Xinxing, the shopkeeper of Shifang Pavilion, right? Lu Xinxing? That big man who has been hot in the sanctuary recently? It's really him. 
I saw him once in Sherfang Auction House before. I heard that Sherfang Pavilion has a connection with the dwarves, but I didn't expect it to be true. Who was that young man just now? Lu Xinqing was able to meet him in person. The passersby kept talking, and looked in shock at Lin Yu and the others who were greeted by Lu Xinqing on the carriage. They all speculated about Lin Yu's identity. But unfortunately, Lu Xinqing didn't give them a chance. After getting on the carriage, he pulled down the curtains, blocking their eyes. That's all. Lin Yu and his party rode in the carriage and quickly crossed the street to the Shifang Pavilion. Then, under the surprised gaze of everyone in the store, Lu Xinqing personally welcomed him into the inner hall and began to talk about purchasing materials. It was not until more than half an hour later that they left the store through the back door and came to a secluded street. Young Master Lin, it's not convenient for me to send you off, because there are so many people. Outside the door, Lu Xinqing said to Lin Yu and the dwarf beside him. But if you want to go to the elf forest, you can teleport there through the imperial teleportation array over there, which can save a lot of time. He raised his finger and pointed to one of the three sky-reaching giant swords in the distance. Lin Yu looked puzzled, is there a teleportation array that teleports into the empire? It was the first time he had heard of this, and he couldn't help but be a little surprised. He always thought that it was just a decoration, or used to mark the direction of the three aboriginal empires, making it difficult for people to get lost. After all, this sanctuary is too big. As a result, I didn't expect that there was another use for him. Fuss. At this moment, Leja next to him glanced at him. The elf empire is so big, if there is no teleportation array, we don't know how long it will take us to get back. It turns out that this person also knows, it seems that Lu Mao is ugly. Lu Xinqing smiled awkwardly, and couldn't help but glance at Lei Zha. Okay, let's go, it will be dark if you drag it on. From the side came McGann's impatient urging. Compared with the bustling sanctuary, he prefers the seclusion in the Huangshaching Mountains, and does not want to stay in such a place for a long time. Manager Lu, let's go first. After saying goodbye to Lu Xinqing, Lin Yu directly summoned the Demon King Dragon and the Demon Concubine Dragon. He was in a good mood this time. Because Lu Xinqing just told him that a large number of SSS level artifacts have appeared on the market recently, and many sellers have been contacted to prepare for them. When he returns from the Elf Empire, he should be able to get one. Have to say. These sellers are actually quite smart. Because of the price of one SSS level artifact, it can be exchanged for five or six A rank artifacts, or even S rank artifacts. The cumulative improvement is definitely stronger than a single treasure. Of course, except for those who pursue the ultimate attribute, such as him. Thinking of this, Lin Yu waved his hand, and the troops under him took off directly, and the sky reaching giant soared towards the southeast, rushed towards it. After a while, he disappeared into the vast sky. And he didn't notice. In a certain corner in the distance, a sneaky figure has been staring at them silently. When they were far away, they turned to leave. Hurry to the direction of Wan Bailu. What did you say? Did you see Lu Xinqing with the dwarves? Hearing the news from his subordinates, the face of the shopkeeper of Wan Bailu suddenly sank. It's absolutely true. It's what the subordinate saw with his own eyes. The subordinate said respectfully. Okay, you can continue to stare, and come back and report to me as soon as there are new trends. Yes, the subordinate responded and hurriedly retired. In a blink of an eye, only the shopkeeper of Wan Bailu was left in the hall, sitting in the seat with a gloomy expression, not knowing what he was thinking. After a while, he looked up and looked outside. Come on. The other side. Lin Yu and the others who left Shifang Pavilion quickly passed through the streets and buildings, leaving the floating islands behind. This is the first time Lin Yu has come to a place outside the center of the sanctuary. He can't help but feel a little surprised, his eyes are condescending, and he constantly looks around. Leisha, can the teleportation array you mentioned really be teleported directly to the Elf Empire? At this moment, McGunn on the back of another demon king suddenly made a sound. Yes. 
Leisha replied seriously, but it can only be teleported to the periphery of the elf forest. Like the sanctuary, there are many races other than the elves living there. If you want to teleport back to the dwarf kingdom, you have to go to the center of the forest of elves, where elves have specially built a teleportation array to connect to the dwarf kingdom in order to transport equipment. Will the elves still want equipment from you? Lin Yu said in surprise. Of course, the forging level of our dwarves is the strongest in the entire continent. Leisha's words contained undisguised arrogance. But it is. Their dwarves really deserve this honor. Following the guidance of the Tong Tian giant sword, it took Lin Yu two hours to finally reach the edge of the sanctuary. On a barren but very lively land. Why do you say deserted? Because there are no plants on this entire range. There is only a square made of bricks and stones, which looks very empty. But it is such a place, at this time, there are many figures who come and go, and the voices continue. Looking through the crowd to the center of the square, there is a huge and boundless straight giant sword inserted into the ground, perpendicular to the sky and the earth. It seems to be suppressing all evils, and it seems to be suppressing the main plane of monsters in the center of the sanctuary. Underneath, there are also several huge teleportation arrays with shining rays of light, which are guarded by teams of elves. Is this the edge of the sanctuary? Lin Yu looked around in surprise. I didn't see anything from a distance before. But when he came under this giant sword, he could clearly feel a strong sense of oppression, which made him almost breathless. No wonder there are only squares and no buildings here. It is said that these three swords were built by our ancestors of the dwarves. The three great emperors personally inserted them into the ground to prevent the expansion of the entrance to the monster plain. On the side came Lage's explanation. Lin Yu suddenly realized when he heard the words, you can even build such a big sword. Your ancestors of the dwarves should be very strong, right? That's natural. Lage blew his beard proudly. At the beginning of our dwarf race, among all the kingdoms, the only country that can be compared with the empire, that's true. Lin Yu nodded silently. The fighting talent of the dwarves, as long as they reach the eleventh rank, they can briefly exert the strength of the twelfth rank. Although it is not long, it is not comparable to other kingdoms. If you think about it this way, it doesn't seem surprising that these three great swords were created. Let's go, it's almost noon, we have to teleport to the elf imperial capital, quickly. Leisha said to Lin Yu and Magorn. Afterwards, he took the lead, led the team along the flow of people to one of the teleportation arrays, and began to line up. Depending on the length of the queue, I'm afraid it will take at least half an hour. Sure enough, the Forest of Spirits is still very popular with other races, Riz? Suddenly, a surprise shout came from the side. An elf in armor led the team by the side, saw Leisha in the teleportation team at a glance, and hurried over. Arlen? Leisha looked surprised when he saw the person coming. Is it your turn to be stationed here today? This shout immediately attracted the attention of other people of all ethnic groups who were queuing around. However, the male elf called Arlen didn't care, and went straight to Lin Yu and the others. Yeah, it's my turn to be on duty today. Are you going back to the kingdom? Well, I have to borrow your teleportation array to use it, and I will trouble you at that time. It's not troublesome to say anything, the dwarves are our friends, you can use it whenever you want. With a smile on Arlen's handsome face, he said solemnly to the team beside him, What are you still doing? How can we let our distinguished guests stand in line? Arrange for them to be delivered immediately. Yes. The elf guard team responded loudly, and then immediately opened an exclusive channel to the teleportation array for Lin Yu and the others. Have to, met an acquaintance. It also directly saved the time of queuing. The face of the dwarves was so great that Lin Yu couldn't help but feel envious. However, Leisha seemed to be used to it for a long time, thanked the other party, and signaled Lin Yu and McGon to follow. Leisha, this is. At this time, Alan finally noticed Lin Yu in the team, and frowned, slightly. Oh, he is a friend of our dwarves. It should be no problem to go there together, right? Leisha looked back at Lin Yu. 
It's not a problem, but you should know that the forest of elves is not allowed to enter the human race, at most it can only go to the periphery. Alan seemed a little embarrassed. Lin Yu, it seems that you have been excluded. McGann smiled gleefully. Lin Yu shrugged helplessly. He had long heard that elves don't like to interact with foreigners, so he didn't feel too surprised. With a flip of his palm, a leaf-shaped token appeared in his hand. There should be no problem with this, right? This is. Seeing the token in his hand, Arlen was stunned for a moment. His eyes suddenly widened. Elder invitation. Human, how can you have such a thing? He looked at Lin Yu, in shock. It was given to me by an old elf in the Temple of Nature, who told me to go to the Forest of Spirits. Natural Temple? Is it the Third Elder? Alan murmured in a low voice, seeing Lin Yu's gaze finally change. The rank of their elves is very strict. Elf King, High Priest, Elder, Deacon, High Elves. Every elder has an extremely noble identity, and only the Elf King and the High Priest can give orders to them. Since it was the token sent by the elder himself, he naturally did not dare to say anything more. Seeing Lin Yu's eyes suddenly became respectful. Sorry, it was my rudeness that disturbed your excellency, and I hope your excellency don't blame me. It's okay. Lin, you said with a light smile. Since that's the case, let me show you the way. The three elders are now holding a ceremony in the depths of the elf forest. Do you? Since the elder personally invited him, there must be something important. He is a high elf, and naturally, he does not dare to neglect. After speaking to the two men behind him, he left the team and took Lin Yu and the others to the teleportation formation in the distance to guide them. This scene immediately attracted the surprised eyes of all the others on the side. Who is that person? How do you get along with elves and dwarves? To be able to meet the elves in person, is it a big man? I remember the last time I saw this kind of scene, it was when the prophet of the fox people came. Foxman prophet? That seems to be an eleventh order powerhouse. The crowd murmured, his eyes were fixed on Lin Yu and the team. Even the other elves who were stationed in the teleportation formation were attracted. But soon, Lin Yu and the others walked into the teleportation formation under the leadership of Alan. In a burst of dazzling white light, he disappeared from the sight of everyone. Swish. Light flashed. When he stood still again, Lin Yu had already appeared in a lush forest. And under their feet is a huge platform woven by vines, connected in all directions through tree trunks. Wherever the eyes go, tree trunks and vines are crisscrossed, and birds and flowers are fragrant. Below, there are various tree house buildings and streets, pedestrians come and go, and it is very lively. Build a magnificent forest city in the forest. What a spectacular city! It's many times bigger than my yellow sand city. Lin, you looked around and couldn't help but sigh. The periphery of this forest of elves is a little different from what he imagined. In addition to the elves, there are many other races living, and they are much richer than the sanctuary. It looked so happy, and everyone had a smile on their face. Isn't this the forest capital he has always wanted to build? Everyone, please come with me, the sacrifice should almost begin. Arlen leads the way. Sacrificial worship? Did something major happen recently? Rachel asked curiously. He has frequent contacts with the elves, so he still knows a lot about the elves. Lin Yu and McGowan, who were on the side, immediately retracted their gazes when they heard the words, and looked over curiously. Actually, I'm not too sure. I just heard that it's because of a recent change in the master plane of monsters. The high priest is communicating with the mother nature, hoping that she can send down the oracle. An oracle? McGunn and Leisha murmured and looked at Lin Yu strangely. If Arlen knew that the goddess of nature, whom they had always believed in, had descended the oracle on a human being, I don't know how he would have felt. What's wrong? Arlen found their anomaly and turned around in confusion. It's nothing. Leisha grinned, let's hurry into the forest. I have to hurry back to the kingdom. That's right, I heard that there is a turmoil in your kingdom recently, Leja, you have to be careful. 
don't worry, even if we are in turmoil, we won't easily kill our own clan. Okay, everyone, come with me. After saying that, Arlen accelerated and took them away from the square, to the depths of the elf forest. With his guidance, the journey has become much more convenient. After a lot of investigation, and it took nearly two and a half hours, they finally came to the central area of the forest where the elves lived. From a distance, you can see the elves keep moving towards one, and the vast ancient trees standing in the middle of the forest of elves gathered together. Is that the tree of elves? In the team, McGann exclaimed in rare exclamation. As early as in the tribe, he had heard the elders of the tribe tell him about the elf tree. It can be said, all elves are born on the tree of elves. This tree is definitely the most important thing for the elves, and it is also the foundation of their survival. One of the main reasons why foreigners are not allowed to approach is to protect the safety of the elf tree and prevent it from being damaged. Is this the tree of elves? Such a strong breath of life. Lin Yu took a deep breath, as if his entire body and mind were purified, with an indescribable comfort. Even the fatigue accumulated in the battle during this period of time has been swept away. Subsequently, they followed Arlen and the other elves in a hurry to the direction of the Tree of Elves, and they were no longer blocked by other elves. Lin Yu was looking forward to it. Before the collapse of the world, the Tree of Elves could only be seen in novels, games, or movies. It was an illusory thing. I didn't expect to have a chance to see it now and I was inevitably a little excited. And he heard that now ruling the elf empire is an elf queen who has reached the twelfth rank is also the most beautiful existence on this continent. If he was fortunate enough to see his face, it would not be in vain for him to come so far. With this idea in mind, they quickly passed through the tree houses and came to the deepest part of the elf forest, under the huge ancient tree standing proudly between the sky and the earth. However, it's a pity for Lin Yu. When he followed the team to the edge of a huge square under the elf tree, he did not see the elf queen. Instead, I saw a group of powerful elves and a group of flower spirits flying in the air. Under the leadership of an old elf holding a wrought tent scepter, he bowed devoutly to the elf tree in front of him. The elf tree is surrounded by light and shadow, and a soft glow descends downward. Soothes everyone's mind and body. It seems that the whole world has become a lot quieter. Thank you for watching Mystic Realms Recap. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.